Thank you so much, Kat. You know what? More and more we see a movement where people are really conscious about what they put in their bodies, trying to live healthier, trying to eat healthier this, uh, as well. And this morning we talk about farming for the future in terms of aquaponics farming. It's a very interesting system. Uh, aquaculture, which literally uh, uses the waste that's produced by farmed fish or other uh, aquatic creatures that supplies nutrients for plants to grow and in turn, of course, purify the water as well. Very, very interesting. We spoke about this before on the show as well, but uh, joining us this morning is a man who knows the ins and outs when it comes to aquaponics australian born aquaponics guru murray hallam uh, murray very nice to have good you good morning, morning yeah, yeah thank you to our little our little paradise here this morning our garden. i love yeah. it listen this is very interesting we spoke about aquaponics um i think it's a, it's something that scares a lot of people because they don't understand it fully you know it, it seems like a, a, a kind of vast thing but it is something that you can actually do in your home setup as well so i think you as being one of the most well-known faces when it comes to aquaponics around the world how popular did it become um, over the past few years? It's really taken off in a big way, actually. Um, and surprisingly enough, more for the homeowner than for the farm, although farming is increasing all the time, particularly in the United States. But the homeowner is the one who's really taking up thousands upon thousands of people. Really? Yeah, actually. So, so is, it, is it kind of complicated to, to well, set yourself up with the system? It's disgustingly simple, actually. <laughs> it's disgustingly simple. <laughs> once, like you get, once you understand a few basic rules about it, it is really very easy to do. All right. And that's the good thing about it. Homeowners can do it. Yeah. Now, now, it leads me to the next question. I was mentioning that there's this movement where people are really thinking about what they put in their bodies. They want to eat mm. healthier. They want to mm. live healthier as well. When you compare vegetables grown uh, through an aquaponic system compared to your, your normal way um, that you, you know, your veggies you would buy in the shop, is there a difference, let's say, in terms of nutrients? Well, it's much more nutrient dense if you do it correctly, that's for sure, uh, because we're using natural processes. And that's what people find so attractive about it. Because we're using natural processes, we cannot use uh, synthetic insecticides, for example, and people find that very attractive yeah. because uh, people are after pure food. Absolutely. And pure food that's nutrient dense, and we can do that in aquaponics, and you can do yeah. it at home. And the best thing is you can do it at home as well, and we've been talking about it as well. South Africa faces a severe drought. People are urged not to water their gardens excessively, mm. not to um, water their cars as well. What role can aquaponics play in this situation? Well, aquaponics actually only uses 10% of the water to grow the same number of vegetables as you would grow in a regular dirt garden, for example. And that's a research fact by an Australian researcher, okay. Dr. Wilson Leonard. So, you know, it's very, very water-wise. So yeah. it's really the way of the future as far as that goes. I like that, especially if you are needing to take care of our, our water supplies yeah. as well. Now, you mentioned there's a couple of t uh, tips and tricks that people should know um, that will make it disgustingly simple, as you said, to set yourself up with a system. How can people go about it? I mean, what would your advice be to those people wanting to, to set themselves up with a little system at home? Well, do your research. That's okay. the first thing. Make sure you understand what the rules and, and go-to things yeah. are. Uh, do some research on the internet, it's a good place. Come to our seminar, of course. That's it. Uh, that's the best way to go. We start in a few days, or well, today, don't we? Yes. Yeah. We start well, tomorrow, today. the 17th. Tomorrow, the yeah. 17th, yes. And um, that's the way to get the good info. All right. Yeah. All right. So it's basically just do your little research as well. So yeah. if you take a look at a whole system, I mean, what are you actually able to grow? Well, anything that where the crop is above the ground grows extraordinarily well. All right. So vegetables, flowers, some people like to grow flowers, yeah. for example. Um, where the crop is below the ground, for example, potatoes, that's not quite so easy. But anything that grows above the ground yeah. will grow in aquaponics. So I mean anything. Pretty much anything. Anything. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, I mentioned briefly what the system entails, how does it work, but just for people at home to try and understand the cycle, um, how, how exactly does it work? We talk about the fish purifying you know, the, the, the water, the plants, and it all works in this, this incredible uh, system, mm. and it, it takes care of each other, basically. It does. The, the fish help the plants, and the plants help the fish. So the fish are in a tank, obviously, and they do what fish do. They poop in the water, mm. and uh, that, that is purified by going through a filter system and naturally occurring bacteria and other microbes that are naturally occurring in nature um, clean the water. Um, the plants take a lot of that nutrient out in their growth, and the water goes back to the fish clean. All so right. everyone's happy. So it's a system that literally takes care of itself. Well, not almost. quite, but almost. almost. Yes, almost. almost, yes. I like yeah. that. Murray, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I think this is very, very interesting. Like I said, you are going mm. to be running seminars. Um, so Murray will be in Stellenbosch this week um, running a workshop on aquaponics. And we have very good news for our Espresso viewers this morning as well. There's still a couple of places available in the four-day masterclass and certification in commercial aquaponics course from tomorrow, the 17th of November, up until the 20th of November. Now, our Espresso viewers this morning will get a very very special discounted rate but you have to call or email right now to sign in so if you want to call you can do so take down this number it's 076 373 9082 I'll repeat it one more time 076 
373-9082. Or if you want to email, you can do that right now as well to aquaponics for everyone at gmail.com. That's aquaponics, the number four uh, for everyone dot or at gmail.com. Very, very easy. There we go. So take part of it. If you are interested in aquaponics, this is the one place you want to be. All right, let's carry on with your Monday morning. Let's see what is up next.